Good day, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to work on a problem on integration by trigonometric substitution. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Find the integral, integration of square root of 16 minus 4x squared dx. So we are going to use trigonometric substitution to do it. Okay. So solution. Let let x is equal to 2 sine theta. So then dx is 2 cosine theta d theta. Okay. And if I draw the triangle, you will see the picture. So this is theta, this angle is theta, and this is hypotenuse is 2, and the opposite size is x. So the adjacent side is square root of 4 minus x square. This is angle theta. Okay. So, so if we would write cosine theta is equal to square root of 4 minus x square divided by 2 or multiplying by 2 on both sides, we get 2 cosine theta is equal to square root of 4 minus x square. Okay. So our original problem is find the integration of 16, square root of 16 minus 4x square dx. Okay which can be written as, if I take the four out, common factor out, we get four minus x square dx. Now square root of four is, I should not forget the integration. So is equal to two outside integration, integration of square root of, 4 minus x square dx. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so if I substitute now the trigon make the trigonometric substitution. So this is 2 integration of 4 minus x square. That is, uh, as I told in this step. 2 cosine theta is equal to square root of 4 minus x square. So this I can write as 2 for square root of 4 minus x, I can write 2 cosine theta. And for dx, I will write uh, 2 cosine theta d theta. Okay. So Basically, I have integration. I do not quit right now because I'll give you a tip at the end of this uh, presentation. Okay, so I have eight, two times two times two is eight, integration cosine squared theta z theta. All right, okay. And for cosine squared theta using trigonometric identity, I can write if I create a little bit of space for myself. 
So now I have to do integration. 8 is outside integration is cosine squared d theta. And that is equal to 8 outside. And for cosine squared theta using trigonometric identity, I will write it as integration, I mean in parenthesis, 1 plus cosine 2 theta d theta. Okay. So, now I will do the integration. So, this is nothing but 8 is outside integration d theta plus integration cosine 2 theta d theta, right? I just distributed the d theta to the two terms, 1 and cosine theta. Now, this becomes equal to, I can do the integration over here, is equal to 8, and then integration of d theta is, uh, let's keep it uh, 8 outside the parenthesis. Actually, uh, this will be 1 plus cosine theta. Cosine squared theta is equal to 1 plus cosine theta divided by 2. So, in that case, this 8 becomes a 4. This 8 becomes a 4 because 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, 4 is outside the parenthesis here. So, 4, then integration of the theta is theta plus integration of cosine 2 theta is half sine 2 theta. And then an integration constant plus C. Or we have I distribute 4 of theta plus half times 4 is 2 sine 2 theta. Plus C. Okay. Now, so I've done the trigonometric integration, but now I need to substitute for cosine theta and for sine 2 theta. Uh, for sine 2 theta, I will use the trigonometric identity for sine 2 theta, as you will see. So let me create some space. So this becomes, this is equal to 4 theta plus 2 for sine 2 theta, I write 2 sine cosine sine theta times cosine theta plus c okay so this becomes equal to 4 theta plus 4 sine theta times cosine of theta this is theta plus of integration constant c okay now i will remember i started with so i'll show you I will show you what is uh, uh, x is 2 sine theta. So x is 2 sine theta. So I assume x is 2 sine theta. Okay, so I can do some manipulation here. So let me go back here. So x is um, x divided by 2 is equal to sine theta or theta itself is sine inverse x over 2. So this identity I can use or this substitution I can use in the last stage. So if I go back okay so here you know you saw sine theta is x by 2 so sine theta is x by 2 and cosine theta is uh, cosine theta is <coughs> so sine th so let me <coughs> write it again down so <coughs> i can write down so x is 2 sine theta so
एक्सिस एक्सिस टू साइन थेटा और एक्स बाई टू इज इक्वल टू साइन थेटा फ्रॉम विच वी गॉट थेटा इज इक्वल टू साइन इनवर्स एक्स बाई टू एंड साइन थेटा इज इक्वल टू एक्स ओवर टू एंड कोसाइन थेटा इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू वन कोसाइन ऑफ थेटा इज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन माइनस साइन स्क्वायर थेटा इज वन माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर बाई फोर विच इज इफ वी सम सिंप्लीफाई इज फोर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर बाई टू सो आई मेक दीज सब्सिट्यूशंस इन फोर थेटर दस द tip i wanted to give you so after you have done the integration kept everything in terms of theta then you want to return it back to the original problem which was in terms of x so let's do the substitutions now so so the integration is equal to now for 4 theta so for 4 theta you can write 4 Times sine inverse x by two for cosine times plus four for sine theta you can write x by two for cosine theta you can write square root of four so this is multiplied by square root of four minus x square by two and plus c so ultimately what do we get we get the integration is equal to 4 sin inverse x by 2 and those two in the denominator two twos in the denominator cancel with 4 in the numerator to give us the answer x multiplied by square root of 4 minus x square plus c so this stuff this stuff is your final answer Okay, four sine inverse x by two plus x times square root of four minus x square plus c. That's your final answer for this part. So the tip was after getting the results in theta, after completing the integration in terms of theta, we substitute for theta in terms of x to get the final answer in the in x only. That is the tip. Why we get it? Want to get it back in x? Because the original problem was in terms of x, x variable. So I will stop here today. If you have question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you like this video, share with your friends, and. Uh, you and your friends please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner i'll be back next time with another interesting problem interesting solution you know me i'm back every day with new problem new solution so do not forget to watch me next time okay uh, thanks for watching take care have a nice day if you have any question write me a note or a comment i appreciate that thanks for watching have a nice day See you next time. Take care.